Okay, I have to show you this. I'm right now at the Plaza de la Arena and I'm walking along the narrow streets. And as I'm strolling here through the streets and the little shops and markets, I find this. I'm right now at Plaza de Lope de Vega. I'm sorry to interrupt, but have you seen that guy? <laughs> But it's seen that guy there. <laughs> what he's doing, you have to think. It's a real guy. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> what are you reading? Yeah, it seems like. Yes, probably. Seems like there's a wedding going on behind me. But what I wanted to show you is that here stands the narrowest building in all of Europe. Which is this very narrow strip of a building behind me and it's called La Estrecha and it only stretches, see what I did there, 107 centimeters wide. So um, just over a meter and I'm gonna flip the camera for you. You can just barely fit in here. And interestingly enough, many uh, European cities claim to have the narrowest building in Europe and it's become a trend to be claiming that it seems. <laughs> but its facade here is only 107 centimeters wide, while one of the most famous claimed narrowest buildings um, in Europe is in Amsterdam and it has a 101 centimeter wide facade, but in the inside it's actually wider. So this is it. The narrowest building in Europe, not only from the outside, but also from the inside. Crossed by 18 of these bridges full of history, the former riverbed passes by the city's main museums and monuments on either bank. The view is not the best today, but I think you can make it out. This is the most famous park here in Valencia. The vast gardens are built on the former riverbed of the Turia, the Turia River, whose course was altered to uh, prevent constant flooding in the city after a devastating flood in 1957. And the course was uh, diverted to the south after that. Well, this left a uh, huge uh, tract of land, which then was remodeled into a park area now one of the largest in uh, Spain let's check it out check out the oranges let's hope no orange falls on my head is it like with the coconuts where more people die from uh, oranges falling on their heads than from shark attacks or whatever it was who knows? We are repairing the, the bicycle here so that, get, that he can drive back home or wherever he's going. Slowly, easy. Try it. I think it's gonna, it's gonna fall off again. Man, he seems drunk. Maybe he smoked something. Okay, at least we did something. I have arrived at the most famous landmark in Valencia, which is the museum here, that is located in the park that we just walked through. And it's a beautiful area. The building looks like it's designed like one of the bridges one of the 18 bridges that crosses the park now and used to cross the river that used to um, go along this riverbed that we are in right now. I'm not even planning on going into the museum. Not even sure if it's open. But I'll just enjoy uh, the architecture and I'll enjoy the, the calmness. And I'll enjoy that it has stopped raining. At least for now. 
birds singing, dogs taking shit. Whatever you please. Hey, what do you think about the architecture here? Looks like a spaceship. <laughs> Space shuttle. Over there is some water. Yeah, the second one is in the water. But when were they made? Kind of new, huh? But not. Let's go, brother. You want to take a dip here? Yes. Hello, you guys. Wow. I heard that they had to close down a few of the attractions here, the museum even, because it wasn't economically feasible anymore. Is this a modern Spain you've never seen before? I don't think so, because I think this is uh, tourist attraction number one here. So everyone that knows Valencia has seen this before. Um, but nevertheless, it is quite stunning. It has been an interesting day. Spain's third largest city. Wow. Look at these palm trees underneath the structures here. This, I gotta say, is a really interesting place. It's very unique within Europe. And I'll leave you with these impressions for today. But I'll see you soon in the next video. Let's see what we can find next.